Hey, what is up guys? My name is Cameron Gallagher from We Are Film, and today we're talking all about the data burn-in feature in DaVinci Resolve 17. This is a pretty quick and easy tutorial, but I wanted to show you one way that you can burn in data into your video for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of reasons why you might do this. Today I'm going to be talking about this long sort of interview um, to some kids on a farm talking about some different aspects of the farm. And the thing is, I wanted to send this video off to a producer and they can kind of go in and tell me where they want to keep things, where they want to cut things. And the easiest way to do that is by adding some type of, you know, time code in this case. So if you go over to Workspace, you're going to see uh, right here called Data Burn-In. When you click on that, that's going to bring up this little menu that has a ton of different options for things that you can burn onto the video. Now, this is more than just time code. There's a lot of really cool things you can do here. Um, so for instance, of course we have time code. So there's a ton of different versions of time code. So the record time code, and of course you can actually change how it is displayed, the size, the background, the font, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can also do source time code and you can see that you can add multiples, which we'll talk about in a second, uh, why that might be really nice. So source time code, which is the time code, uh, typically of the actual, like, well, I guess it's whatever the source is itself. And then the record time code is actually the time code uh, recording typically in your timeline. So uh, that might be really handy. Of course, let's do uh, record time and frame number. Source and record time codes, there's both. Um, this is neat. 15, uh, so this is feet. So this is uh, feet of, and frames. So if you're you know shooting on film and you want to, you have it scanned in and you can see what foot you're on in the frame, uh, that's super handy. Audio time code, um, source file name and record file name. These are really cool because this can tell you where a clip is. Um, again, if you're doing maybe something like VFX or something like that. The other one is custom text. You could just write like, hello. So, you know, you could write in something where you need to have information written on the bottom to burn in. And then, of course, we get into things like logo, which this is really cool because you could have like a basically a watermark, um, real name, shot scene number, all this kind of stuff, take angle, day, date. Um, the cool thing about this is this is really all about sort of like post-production workflow. So for instance, you know, if we were working with a uh, composer on a film, you might have the uh, record time code or, or, or the source time code, I guess, depending, or probably both, uh, as well as the frame number. And then maybe you also have the real number because usually with composers, they maybe split it up depending on how long something is. And then maybe you have a logo on it because you don't want it to get out. And obviously, you know, it's a copyright or whatever. So this is super handy. And you can also do it by clip too. Um, but it's just really, really handy to be able to quickly add all of these things and get them into your project and, you know, get them out to somebody. So like in my case, I'm going to use record time code because it's going to give me the time code of the project, of the timeline. And then when I export this, I'm able to, you know, the the producer or whoever it is can tell me, hey, uh, you know, 4, 56, 19, cut this or, or whatever it may be. Or from this time code to this time code, cut this. So the data burn-in feature in DaVinci Resolve 17 is super handy. And honestly, it's just like, it's awesome. So if you're not using this, you should be. And um, it's a great way to speed up your workflow and do some really fun stuff. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, come subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.